Beard, so beard! 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 All right. There we go. Yes. We're back at another episode 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. Napa, Napa Smith. Smith Brewery. There we go. Whatever. Bonfire, that's what it is. And Bonfire is an Imperial Porter. That's why we have Barwinch Amanda sitting on this, the Porter yeah. lover. So I'm going to read a little bit on this bottle. It is brewed in Napa Smith Brewery, Napa, California. 8% alcohol by volume, so that makes it an Imperial Porter. Uh, Napa Smith is a handcrafted artisan brewery located in the Napa Valley. Our Imperial Porter has dark caramel coffee and chocolate notes. You're going to hate it. <laughs> and finish is slightly sweet. A subtle hot character adds complexity and balance to this rich winter warmer. Well, this ain't winter. We know that for yeah. well because it's hot. It's a little rainy outside. Uh, yeah, maybe well, maybe that'll make it. Maybe it was a yeah. good day to try the, dark, the porter since it was, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm just Probably like 70 degrees today. So when I think of Napa Valley, I think of wine. Exactly. Yeah, you know, exactly. This will be interesting. All right. Missed that one. What happened to the table? Did we stop doing that? Yeah, we started. We stopped slapping the table because we started knocking glasses over when we were slapping the table. Because uh, so. as soon as we started, I was like, "That's right, I know." Looking forward to that. Yeah, we uh, we get to slap. We do it. Unfortunately, the the, the, the glasses bounced. Uh, the table was not as strong. Everybody just needs to hold on to their glasses. That's pretty much it. This looks like a looks like a glass of red wine. No, like coffee and. Coke. It probably smells fantastic. Well, let's see. On this thing, uh, oh, babe. it's not completely opaque. So no, it's not. That's plenty for me. As you can tell, <laughs> as you can tell Jason really does I, not like it. I, I, know, I know what's going to happen. He's shot a beer. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah, that's another order. Yeah. Great. Tastes that would have been more for me. Tastes like some coffee. I, I left plenty in there. Holding yeah. it up to the light. It looked like half a glass. Yeah. Hold it up to the light. We've got a little well, bit of a red room <laughs> tent through here. It's uh, it, it looks like a porter. Good. It smells like caramel. Yeah, it does. Got a lot of caramel notes in there. I don't get the coffee so much, so uh, it I'm might hoping. be okay for you, man. <laughs> I'm hoping. I am. I'm it's, hoping. Uh, it's just dark ruby notes. It looks like a porter. That. Still not found that porter yet that I. Not not much of a head at all. Doesn't look like a whole lot of carbonation. So we know it's going to be high alcohol content. Not, that seems to be better here, guys. Woo! <laughs> that is, um... Tastes like hit, coffee. Hit of bitterness, yes, I get that, yeah. Not a lot of women like porters. That is, that's a big thing, girls. <laughs> You're probably not going to like it too much. But, yeah. but guys, strong manly guys. Yeah, yeah strong yeah. manly guys love a damn porter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No offense, Jason. Okay. Time out. Most men who like coffee. He is one of the only men that I know who does not like coffee, but it's it it tastes. I think it's awesome. I like I the bitterness. You, this is a good porter. Mm -hmm. This is an awesome freaking porter. Uh, the fellows out at uh, Green Meadows, that's where this one came from. It's really, really. It's, they, they've got plenty of them. They got lots of Memphis Smith yeah, stuff. Sure. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I think it, it, you ought to go try it. If if you like porters at all. You, you got to go try it. It's no it's one. just a really great porter. Yeah, got, I've got deep it's toasted. A little, a little better. Uh, let me just give another taste here. You can taste the roast. You you can taste the roast in it. Oh, yeah. there you go. Got deep roasted malts. Uh, I think so. Awesome. Um, some caramel malts. There's a lot of malts in there. Yeah. There's a lot of malts. It tastes like a coffee malt when you get it in a malt shop. Yeah, you, 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 you taste you taste the coffee. You taste the malt and. I don't know where they're getting a, a subtle sweetness because it's the, sweet. The dark chocolate, it's it, it's, it, it's kind of on me. It's more bitter than it is. Yeah, sweet. it's more bitter than it is sweet, but there is a sweetness to it that's just right there, kind of like on the tip of the tongue. Right like at the end of it, you've got that sweet malty. I mean, it is good. It's just for me when I think I want to have a beer, that's not what I think of. It. It's just like a personal. It's not, you know, it's oh, not. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's right. like I want, I'd love to have a beer right now. It's, I would just not grab this. This would be something I'd, I'd drink with my dessert. It would be a. It's, it you know, is a dessert. It would be a little like. Yeah. yeah. It would be a, a better beer during the winter. Like, I would oh, sit here. Absolutely. This would be a super beer during the winter. Like, definitely. Yeah. And, I mean, because I can feel the warmth, like, on the back part of my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can too. It's very it's, earthy. Mm hmm. Very. Definitely very earthy. It's, it's good, though. It, I it like has it. a good taste to it. it it's everything a porter should be. Mm -hmm. It's. This porter is what distinguishes porters from stouts. 
They'll find you a stout and think, oh, well, here's this heavy, malty, sweet goodness, and then you get a porter, then you get that smoky coffee chocolate flavor in there I can that distinguishes it. I can definitely tell the why they call it bonfire, though, because I can taste oh, the absolutely. smokiness in it. That, yeah, it's absolutely. Like, I mean, any, everything they said in this, would that should be in this, is in this. Is in this. Yeah, I, and that's, I like that. Toasted marshmallows. As far as no. porters Cold go, weather. I'd probably be really sick though. As far as porters go, I'm going to give this up there. I'll be explaining. As far as porters, this is a nine mm. for porters. This is a porter of porters. Yeah, this is a. This is a nine, so I'm giving it that. As far as overall beers go, it's right in the seven mark. I'd, I'll drink it again. It's 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 on the high end of stuff for me, but. You're awful quiet over there. Jason, he's just letting I'm me talk. Y'all ramble. We know him. <laughs> 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 It's on the it, it's on the high end of things for me. I'll drink it again. I will buy more. So as, if I decide I want a porter, I'm probably gonna go get some Napa Smith. I am I'm right there with Don. I mean, like I I was a big Tommy Knocker fan. Like the Tommy Knocker porter back in you know back in the winter and everything. It was their seasonal. Yep. And this is it somewhat reminds me of that. It's it's not as it's not as good as this. This is this is better, but. Um, the difference between this and the Tommy Knocker, the Tommy Knocker I could actually drink. Like, you know, I could, it's more than a sipping beer for me during the winter, but this is better. This is much better. I, I'm going with the nine on this. Yeah. Porters. It's, it's awesome. It's great. Rebecca? Um, you know, I'd give it in the seven range because, you know, I don't drink a lot of beer like this. I really can't say for sure, but I think it's definitely good for what it is. I mean, I'll, I'll give it that. I mean, I definitely awesome. think so. And the bottle yeah. looks great. Oh, yeah. Good marketing. Fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> good marketing. Give it that. Well, all right, Jason? <laughs> he does not get a vote on this. He <laughs> I get a vote on this. You know why? Because, honestly, they, they, they <laughs> had everything it said it had in it. I did, you know, you, you read the ingredients, that's how it tasted. So, to me, you know, if I wanted to go out and lick some firewood, I'd lick some firewood. <laughs> Well, we know we all know you've licked a pine tree. Yes, so. and so that's you know that, <laughs> that's pine right there with is it. His specialty. Yes, that, yes, that's right there with it. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> if if you're going for what it has in it, it has what it has in it. It has the taste. It's not too overpowering. The alcohol's not too overpowering. You know, at eight percent, I was actually expecting a little bit more, taste a little bit more alcohol than what I did. Yeah, they balanced it, but well. they balanced it out well with with their malts. So I'm it wasn't alcohol. it wasn't actually that bad. Honestly, I, you know, I'll, I, it's about a three for me. So it's, it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. That's not bad for a yeah. person that does not like porters. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Yeah, I right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell it's already coming. I'm Don. I'm Jason. I'm Rebecca. I'm Amanda. If you don't like it, it's not our fault. you like this. Raise your hand. Yeah. 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 It's good. <laughs> you like that one. Trust me. It's good. It's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like beer cause it is good I drink beer because I should If there was a song to sing I sing it and beer you